The roads are tight, but we're getting higher into, you know, steeper country now, and that's the way it is. But when we can make them wider, we should. You, you sort of have a standard width you want to build the road to, but you certainly don't want to go less than that in a situation where you've got a rock bluff and you know they're going to be yarding because they're going to have problems with it right away. We need a loader with us when we don't have an adequate landing, right? Yeah. Because he has to hold one end, I have to grab the other, and we have to swing it onto the road together. Otherwise, what happens to Well, it just runs away. So, so we're grabbing it again. If we're lucky or we're going to lose it completely. Up comes the log, hands it off to the log loader. It's expensive, slow, uh, not, the, not very productive. Uh, and it's becoming more and more of a challenge in place, some of these places that we're accessing more and more of a fiber. Uh, we've got to face it, the valley bottoms are gone and we're going further and further up the hill. When we're working in these challenging areas, it's really important to identify them up front so that we can, if we're not super confident in where the yarding will take place from these situations, we can definitely bring our experienced crew out and take a look at it, whether it be a woods foreman, a hook tender, or the grapple yarder operator, and take them out for a walk and show them the situation that you're up against and what their thoughts are and what the best situation might be for setting them up for the yarding of that particular site. Nom, nom, nom.